Good morning students. Welcome to the next lecture of Electronic Measurements and Instrumentation. My name is TSS Nagamohan Kumar. Today, our topic is Arbitrary, Arbitrary Waveform Generator. Arbitrary Waveform Generator. Right. So, what is this Arbitrary Waveform Generator? Up to now, we have seen different types of signal generators like Function Generator, Sine Sorrel Wave Generator, Square Wave and Pulse Wave Generators, Random Noise Generators, Sweep Generators. These are all the concepts we have seen and these are all the signal generators are working for a specific function. For example, Square, square Waveform Generator. So, the square waveform generator which is uh, we are using uh, for uh, using different types of square signals, uh, it is generating 50% duty cycle uh, of uh, a square waveform. And coming to the pulse generator, it is uh, used by a square wave generator where the duty cycle we can vary in the entire signal. Right, like sinusoidal waveform, triangular waveform. Each signal generator has a specific function to meet the uh, goal of the users. Okay. Right. Now coming to that arbitrary waveform generator. So this arbitrary waveform generator AWG doesn't have any specific function. It is ready to provide all the types of functions uh, and it is not ready to support all the types of functions. That is, uh, it, if, if you want, it is, it is ready to give the sine sort of waveform, a square waveform, a triangular waveform. Right. But it's not mandatory in this arbitrary waveform generator. Okay, so it is not mandatory in the arbitrary waveform generator, but it is ready to provide all the functionalities uh, and it is providing the signals uh, with independent of the time and amplitude information also here. Okay, so there is uh, no relationship in between the uh, x axis and y axis information in between the time and amplitude information in this arbitrary waveform generator. And at the same time, if you want to relate these two informations, you can relate. Okay, let us see what is meant by this arbitrary waveform generator. This is an arbitrary waveform generator is a piece of electronic testing equipment which is used to generate electrical waveforms. So, by using this arbitrary waveform generator, we are generating different types of electrical signals. So, that is we know, but it is we are generating different types of electrical signals for testing the different types of electronic equipment. Next, these waveforms can be either repetitive or single shot. That means here we can repeat the number of cycles if you require. Otherwise, you can give only five cycles. Otherwise, you can give only one cycle. That means a single shot of amount of information you can deliver to the load based on your requirement. In which, in which case some kind of triggering source is required. And at the same time, uh, for operating the single shot uh, waveforms, we need some internal or external triggering devices. With this triggering devices, you can say how many signals you required. That is a single shot signals. Next, the resulting waveforms can be injected into, into a device under test and analyzed as they progress through it, confirming the proper, proper operation of the device or pinpointing a fault in it. So, when a device is under test, for the device we are giving the input signals from this arbitrary waveform generator and these waves are used for testing the device uh, uh, and it is ready to detect any type of faults uh, from that uh, uh, device. Right. Next. Next coming to that. Uh, we are with compare, we have function generators uh, for uh, uh, implementing the sine sort of wave or square wave or triangular wave. So, if we have already function generated, then what is the necessity of these uh, 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 arbitrary wave generators? That we will see. Unlike function generators, AWGs, uh, that is arbitrary wave generators, can generate any arbitrarily defined wave shape as their output. So, any type of signal we can define from the, from the uh, uh, arbitrary wave generators. Coming to that, normally function generators uh, we have in the field, uh, this type of uh, function generators are providing sinusoidal, square wave, triangular, pulse wave and ramp signals. Okay, and uh, coming to that some advanced functions, uh, multi-time uh, AM, FM, cardio, Gaussian pulses, noise and other type of signals uh, uh, will provide by using uh, different types of function generators uh, which are very advanced functions. Now, coming to that arbitrary waveforms. 
point to point user defined waveforms here the arbitrary waveform generator is ready to provide some signals which is delivering the function generators these signals are ready to generate from the arbitrary waveform generator and it is ready to provide advanced functions like amfm cardia gaussian some other types of signals and noises also it is ready to generate and the last one special type of arbitrary waveforms that is based on your requirement user requirement that is point to point information you can vary based on your requirement uh, this type of signal is required like that you can choose okay so uh, the information you can de uh, decide on x axis which information you required on y axis which information you required you can change that information at any way so this is the major purpose of the arbitrary waveform generators right now coming to that uh, the basic definition for arbitrary waveform the generator is generating these waveforms now let us see one more time the definition of arbitrary waveform arbitrary waveform is defined as a waveform that does not have a predefined shape or characteristics that means this arbitrary waveform doesn't have any shape it doesn't has any characteristics but if you see the function generator it has a sinusoidal waveform or a triangular waveform so the response of the triangular waveform it should uh, uh, linearly increase the signal and it should linearly decrease the signal that is the characteristics of the sinusoidal waveform but whichever the signal we are generating from this arbitrary waveform this arbitrary arbitrary waveform doesn't have any characteristics it doesn't have any shape so we cannot shape the design sort of a triangular or square wave we can't say this is the shape for the arbitrary waveform yeah, its amplitude and frequency can be varied in a random manner so how the amplitude and frequency is varying in the sine sort of wave triangular we know perfectly but coming to that arbitrary waveform we cannot say how the amplitude and frequency are correlated okay so we can't uh, give this is the uh, this thing this is the that thing like that we can't say the uh, if the amplitude is increasing the frequency may be decreases or day increases or maybe it's constant it's uh, defined by the, it is defined by the user that is user requirement it's completely independent terms here the amplitude and frequency parameters next it poses periodicity sometimes and non periodicity at some other times so for example in the sine sort of signal we have some clock period okay and the time period we are saying like that but these arbitrary waveforms may give the time period or may not give the time period it may give the period of uh, some wave otherwise it will not give that that uh, periodicity of information of a signal so it may be periodicity it may be not periodicity so this is the basic nature of the waveform generator and coming to the last it is digitally it is digitally based on the signal source capable of generating any waveform within published limits of bandwidth frequency range accuracy and wave output level here uh, coming to that these type of arbitrary wave generator waveforms are completely implemented based on the digital type techniques and they have some limited bandwidth and they have some limited bandwidth it is uh, this type of signals are ready to publish with a limit of bandwidth and it has in a, a good frequency range and it has in a very good accuracy and output uh, um, output levels so this is about the arbitrary waveform so coming to here uh, unla, uh, like uh, function generators it has it has also having a block diagram in this block diagram we are going to discuss the most important concepts uh, how to uh, uh, store this type of, of uh, information and the stored information how to retrieve okay right so different types of uh, uh, blocks here we have in this uh, arbitrary waveform function generator so this is a block diagram of uh, arbitrary waveform generator arbitrary waveform generator in this block diagram here we have first one an address counter an address counter will give the address information and the ram based on the address information we are identifying the location of the memory in the ram and next d by a converter that is digital to analog converter next lpf low pass filter and last one amplifier and coming to that address counter here we have connected a clock signal that means 
here if, uh, or the to whatever the information you required uh, those all the informations uh, uh, sometimes uh, it is predefined that means some of the information will be stored at the memory at the place of ram so from the ram we have to access the data and we have to give the output right so we have to retrieve the data which will be there from the memory right if you want to select the memory you need some address information that is the address in address counter here we have so this address counter is connected with a clock that means for for a memory location we cannot give at a time the input data so we have to give the information 10 times or 20 times or 30 times otherwise we have to uh, enable the array of data so for that reason here we have used an address counter from this address counter we are accessing the memory with the help of a clock signal so what this memory will do the random access memory the random access memory consisting of lot of information which we have stored previously the information otherwise we can store the present or current signals behavior in the ram also so we have connected our function our uh, waveform arbitrary generator to a signal source and we have connected in our CRO right so whichever the signals we, we are gathering from a external source or by the adjusting the internal source we can store all this information these informations will be stored at the ram and these informations uh, we are converting into digital to analog converter what is the purpose of digital to analog converter it will give a output voltage of v naught and this v naught will gives the characteristics of the waveform which we required that information is passed through the low pass filter what the what this low pass filter will do so the low pass filter allows the low frequency signals and it is ready to block the high frequency signals which are the low frequency signals are allowed through the low pass filter these signals will be sent to the amplifier this amplifier then it is going to amplify those signals and it will use the output so this is the final uh, stage of the output for this uh, arbitrary waveform generator so this is one of the portion of the arbitrary waveform generator uh, but uh, in the market uh, this arbitrary waveform generator is not available as in a single equipment it is available with in a CRO that is arbitrary waveform with a CRO display uh, this type of, uh, you know, of uh, machines uh, are available in the field okay so with the CRO or with the function generator or with the, any other types of devices it is available as commercially in the market so this is about Wave, uh, arbitrary waveform generator then last we will see the arbitrary waveform advantages okay so see here the first one the arbitrary waveform generally we are using for testing the signals testing the signals are electronic equipment next one arbitrary waveform also used to generate digital signals arbitrary waveform is generating different types of digital signals and these digital signals we are converting into analog information and we are passing through low pass filter then we are amplifying the signals next arbitrary waveform generator stores the digital data in ram just now we have discussed the ram is going to store the arbitrary information it detects any type of faults so arbitrary waveform generator most of the times we are using for detecting the different types of faults next proper functions are available so which type of signals we have those signals we can uh, keep in the arbitrary waveform uh, uh, we can predefine the signals otherwise you can uh, generate uh, different types of signals spontaneously based on your requirement right so this is about arbitrary waveform generator and uh, presently arbitrary waveform generators are nearly 50000 rupees they will, uh, the cost of this arbitrary waveform generators will start from 50,000 rupees to 5 lakhs rupees also uh, these are very costly devices and they are using majorly for the audio testing or different types of testing processes and it is coming with uh, some noise generators also for testing the uh, different types of digital uh, electronic equipment or uh, different types of electronic equipments okay thank you thank you very much